What do economists mean when they talk about trade? Simply put, trade is the exchange of goods or services between people. In most trades, there's a buyer and a seller who exchange goods or services for money. The seller will usually gain some revenue, while the buyer often gains the good or service. Many things can be traded. Resources like labor and capital, finished products like clocks or door frames, stocks for companies on the New York Stock Exchange, money, and a variety of other goods and services. In societies that historically relied on agriculture, trade was as simple as exchanging a bundle of wheat for a piece of meat. Bartering in this way wasn't always easy, and eventually coinage was developed to help ease the process. Today, most trades are exchanges of money for a specific good or service. Countries trade with each other to secure goods and resources they need to function. The benefit of trade is the advantage producers obtain by using specialization to increase overall output. It also gives consumers access to a wider range of goods at potentially lower prices. You will often hear the phrase globalization used in discussing international trade. When economists talk about globalization, they are focusing on things like improved communication and ease of transportation between countries. What this means on an international level is that virtually all countries engage in trade of some items and they interact with each other regularly. Most nations have multiple trade agreements with many other countries, which means competition is a significant force in international trade markets. While there are some criticisms associated with globalization, much of the focus is on opening of new markets for competitively priced goods and services. The concept of comparative advantage is the reason why so many countries are able to participate in global trade with one another. It is also among the fundamental economic principles that we will see throughout all of economics. Comparative advantage is based on the opportunity cost of each party to produce a particular good or service. The idea can help parse out many of the foundational processes underlying international trade patterns and production decisions. Furthermore, criticisms of comparative advantage theory help highlight some of the existing inequalities between countries and can provide a deeper understanding of the core issues surrounding international trade. Trade works because people specialize in things they are good at, or in economic terms, people specialize in their comparative advantage.